He looks like Greg Burris from mid-season form right now. Ball just sounds different coming off that bat. There's a different kind of crack that a lot of guys out here don't have. It looks like he's got a swing back. He just has that, that big league approach. He's a leader. You can tell by his demeanor. He's got unreal strike zone discipline. He's definitely getting his groove back, and he should be good to go for next year. Next year is something that's been on Greg Bird's mind for a long time. The shoulder injury that forced him to miss the entire 2016 season was repaired 10 months ago. The rehab process is finally winding down, and the finish line is within reach. With the benefit of hindsight, Bird reflects on the grueling decision that postponed his dream for another year. I think it was really kind of an overtime thing, just wear and tear, and then maybe a few specific times where I might have banged it around a little too much. I took time off in the off season and tried rehab, and it just didn't do anything for it. It was almost in a worse place than it was before that. At that point, it's like, how are you gonna get through another season with this shoulder like this? We had to make the decision to have surgery, and now, kind of looking back on it, it was the right decision for sure because I feel a lot better. I'm confident in it again, and uh, right where I wanna be. After going through such a difficult process, both physically and emotionally, the small victories are important. The Arizona Fall League has provided Bird a chance to get back to normalcy. I'm playing games and I feel good. I go home every day and I don't think about it. Obviously there's still like a treatment factor and a strengthening factor and just an everyday managing it factor. I always want to be competitive and always want to go out and do well every night. But here it's a little less about that and more about development and for me about health and just getting my playing time, my bats, getting used to the everyday thing again, but at the same time not, not killing myself and getting ready for a full off season to come back strong, ready to go for spring. Months of non-baseball activity forced Bird to rehab and train while protecting his delicate shoulder. As on-field action slowly resumed in September, naturally, there was some apprehension. The first few games down at Intrux, I think you're a little more hesitant, but the game for sure clears it all up for me, so I think once I get in the game throwing-wise, it'll, it'll be even less hesitant. Obviously, there's a process right now. Uh, he's been long tossing every other day while he's here. He hasn't thrown a bases yet. Well, he will start doing that uh, pretty soon. What I've noticed is when you're doing one specific thing and not in the game, you tend to think about it a little more. Once the game starts, it's different, you know, because you probably won't make a throw till the ninth inning. And we want to make sure he's loose and, you know, we're going to get that shoulder uh, as strong as, and, and as much as we can. It's still a work in progress, but I feel good. Like I said, I'm confident in it, and you just go out and play, play the game. Greg Bird is no stranger to the AFL. In 2014, he dominated the league and earned MVP honors. Back then, he was one of the young guys. But now, with 46 games of Major League experience under his belt, he's the elder statesman of his team, and that's a concept he embraces. I think it's a good chance for me to kind of learn that leadership role in a way and uh, just how to handle different types of players. Like eventually, obviously, I'd love to be a veteran guy and, and be able to help guys that come up, and this is kind of a good opportunity for me to learn how to handle that, how to handle young guys coming up that are trying to make a name for themselves and, and trying to make it. Power can be a concern for some players who've worked back from the same labrum surgery that Bird endured, but he doesn't have to look far to find a success story. Brian McCann returned to play for the Braves in 2013, some seven months after the procedure, without any real drop off in home run production. At this point, I feel so much better than I did before. I think there will be work that has to be put in to get used to the swing again and get used to everything and, and like I said, the day to day. But um, I have no doubt in my mind that I can go out and perform next year like I want to perform. And like the doctor kind of told me when he did the surgery, he said, you're going to be amazed at how, how good this thing's going to feel when it's all said and done. And I mean, technically it's not all said and done yet and it's already catching me off guard at times with how like unbelievable it is um, in a lot of ways so I'm, I'm excited. The tail end of 2016 was exciting in the Bronx as some youthful Yankees, all minor league teammates of Bird, kept the club in the playoff hunt beyond expectations. I always kind of envisioned myself being there with them when they got the call but the fact that they all got a taste of that and what it takes every day and and to be in a playoff race that's where we want to be and uh, everyone has that mindset but they know that we're not there yet. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited for, for the team and kind of what the future holds for us. It'll be a lot of fun to be able to step onto the field with them and go out and play with them next year. Baseball, obviously, is my passion, but I think 
dealing with stuff like this builds you as a person and uh, that's really important to me and, and that's kind of what my parents instilled in me as a kid and then as I grew up so just being able to kind of draw on that helped me through the whole thing and like I said I grew a lot this year and it'll help me a lot next year. You can see more Yankees on demand and scoreboard content by clicking here and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right here.